Hi guys, do your camera have skipping video? Or are you experiencing camera freeze but couldn't figure out what the problem is? Today we receive a case from one of a customer with camera issue. Let's see what happened to him. Our customer is using a Lorex NVR and a PoE switch connecting with a 16 port PoE switch installing 4 PoE cameras. And the PoE switch is about 500 feet away from the NVR. Recently, he's experiencing some camera freeze and skipping occur in live view. We have assisted our camera to test the cable. Turn out nothing is wrong with the cable. So the link is not the problem. That means it should be the bandwidth issue. He's wondering if he can add a non-PoE switch at the center to bridge with the Ethernet connection. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about our customer's initial plan and what we have suggested for him. If you liked our video and want to see more, please like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling. And feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box. And we'll be more than happy to help you find the most effective way to solve your problem. And thank you very much for watching our video. First of all, let's talk about the reason that causes the camera freeze and skipping. We all know the PoE has a limit of 328 feet for data distance. Nowadays, a lot of the switches have CCTV mode or a VLAN mode. It allows the distance go up to 800 feet, which is suitable for long distance use. So in our customer's case, he's using the VLAN mode or a Netgear switch connect with four cameras that is 500 feet away. So one thing about VLAN mode is it might cause data speed drop. Especially he's connecting four cameras that is 500 feet away. So the data dropped to 10 megabyte per second. So that's what caused this camera skip and freezing because the bandwidth cannot support four cameras simultaneously. So here we are right in front of the demonstration board. Our customer is wondering if he can put a non-PoE switch in the center to bridge the Ethernet connection and boost up data. Well, we couldn't say he can't do that, but then it may lead to other issues. First, he will need to supply another power source for the non-PoE switch in the middle. Furthermore, putting the non-PoE switch in the center to bridge will also cause latency. Now, the non-PoE switch will have to look for an address table and forward data to correct port on the switch, which in turn send it to the correct device. Well, a one camera may be an easy operation, but with multiple cameras, it will take time to figure out which port and generate latency. Therefore, we suggest our customer a more efficient and simple way, which is to use the PoE extender. This is a one in, two out PoE extender. It has one input port and two output port, allows you to connect with two switches and also extend the distance for another 328 feet. Now, we chose this because it can support up to one gigabyte per second. And it also doesn't require any external power source because it can take the power in line. Now, it also have no addressing problem because it will send the data straight forward back to the switch and will not generate any latency. That's why we choose the PoE extender in this case. Also, the PoE extender is IP67 waterproof. If you use a wrench to fasten the neck and the gland, it will have a completely waterproof result. And you can even bury it underground. So now let's do the connection together from the beginning with the main core switch. So let's pretend this is the beginning where our customer put his main switch and the NVR. Now the NVR is already connected with the router. Now we are going to connect the switch with, to our main network using the short patch cord. We just simply plug it in. And I'm using the ethernet cable to connect the PoE switch with the extender. 
so we just plug it in everything is already powered up so this side is done this is a 328 feet ethernet cable so i'm connecting it from the switch we just simply plug it in and we can see the indicator light is on it's getting power already and for another output port that we are not using we have a rubber seal to maintain IP67 waterproof and I'm not using the gland and the neck just for easy installation but we have to use those in real-time operation now I just plug it into the output port this is another 328 feet Ethernet cable now remember we have a 16 port PoE switch at the end so I'm going to connect it using the Ethernet cable and it's already powered up you can see the power light is on now I'm going to connect two cameras to see if it works so I just simply use a short patch cord to connect the camera with the 16 port PoE switch I just plug in a random any port because we have so many ports to use and the other one let's plug in here and we can see the lights are all on and I think our NVR is already getting images now the cameras are working already if you're about to set up a system network that is similar to our customers and you're at first start I strongly recommend you to use the fiber optic cable if you want to know more on how to use the fiber optic cable to install IP cameras you can watch the video right here and thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you next time.